hello 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 and welcome to my channel welcome back if you're already a subscriber if you are new hi and welcome my name is Shaniqua and I am so glad that you joined me for this quick little video well I don't know how quick it's gonna be but today is my end of July empties y'all and we have quite a few products I go through a lot of uh, products every month but when I do these empties um, I'm usually not starting off, you know, with a full product because I use things and then I put them away and then I'll get bored and then I'll use something else and then I might come back to it later on in a couple of weeks or whatever. So, yes, empties video today. So, starting off, and if this video gets too long, I'm going to split it into two parts, but um, let's see how much we get through. So starting off, I have two candles that I have finished up. These are the um, same scent. This is the Stress Relief from Bath and Body Works and Eucalyptus Spearmint scent. Uh, I have the three wick and I also have just the single wick. This is one of my favorite candles, hands down, from Bath and Body Works. This is such a good, relaxing, calming scent. I like to burn this in the bedroom, in the bathrooms love this candle would definitely repurchase this candle over and over and over and over again okay so first up on the empties and then we have this big bag of stuff and let's see if i can kind of um categorize things we'll see child okay so let's do the scrubs first because i have finished three scrubs this month the first one is by the brand freeman this is one of the hydrating body sugar scrubs. I found this at Five Below and I wanted to try it out. Mainly because it was strawberry scented. This, um, I really wasn't a fan of this. I wasn't a fan of the scent. It had like a weird strawberry scent. But it did exfoliate my body and leave it soft. So, I probably won't repurchase it though. But another scrub this one is by um pink i got this from victoria's secret this is in coco chill this smells so good it's such a nice sweet coconut scent but i could not get past the texture of this scrub it was i don't know it was something about the exfoliating beads i felt like they didn't exfoliate really really well and they didn't like melt into my skin well enough so the texture was just off for me I don't know so I probably would not repurchase this at all so this was a no for me and then the last scrub I picked this one up from TJ Maxx and this is a coconut and sea salt body scrub by the brand organic botanic it looks like this now this one was good this one was really really good the only complaint was this with this one no scent it had literally no scent it didn't smell like the coconut or anything like that so yeah but my husband helped me use that one up so that's i think all of the scrubs and then i have one hand soap where's the top to this okay here's the top to it so this is oh it's leaking so this is from bath and body works as well this is in the scent hip hop hooray I got this at Sass for 75% off. It's supposed to be sprinkled donut scent. Um, I love the gentle foaming hand soaps. I love the scent of this. I would definitely repurchase it if I could. Um, I have one mouthwash in here. This is the Listerine Grapefruit Rosé. This is part of that limited, addi limited edition collection that Listerine came out with. They had this one. A... Um, a green one like a cucumber and lime and then they had another one but um this is my second bottle of the grapefruit one and i did really really enjoy that okay i gotta get a towel something is leaking okay so next up i have let's just go ahead and get into the body washes um i have one of the soft soap this is the coconut gentle wash with coconut oil and lemongrass if you like coconut scents I highly recommend picking this up if you see it it smells amazing you will smell like coconut when you get out of the shower and it's like I said it is really good like it says gentle wash it is a gentle wash it did not you know 
irritate my skin or anything so i really did enjoy this this was a good summer scent and i picked this one up from family dollar looks like this it's the modessa and chloe yasmin talked about this in one of her videos and i decided to pick it up when i went in there one day this smells amazing and for one dollar you can't beat it with a stick and also uh, my kids really finished this this is the equate sensitive skin body wash i have been using this on my kids since they were babies and my oldest is nine so um <laughs> this is always a repurchase i purchased this in bulk basically but it's also good whenever my skin is kind of acting out acting a little funny um i do kind of break out like along my chest my shoulders and my back so when that is going on i like to use this and i use it as well for my downstairs area so i highly recommend this is comparable to the dove sensitive skin but this is the uh, walmart brand and when i tell you it works just as good it's just as good as dove so save your coins and go with the equate next up in um body washes i use the bath and body works bahamas passion fruit and banana flower this is in the moisturizing body wash love this this is my favorite scent <laughs> out of that tropical collection that they came out with i bought the whole line to this and um i was kind of sad to finish this up because i really did enjoy using this so when i want when i'm just craving the scent now i have to get it um what do i have it in the body cream and the body spray but i'm kind of sad to see the body wash go since i can't get it anymore now but i really did enjoy that one and the last body wash that i finished up was in gingham this is the shower gel i love love gingham it's one of my favorite scents as well so fresh it's so clean it's so pretty um it's a little bit citrusy because it has like that peach and clementine in there but just a nice fresh clean scent that i mean perfect for summertime i use this like on the hottest days when i just want to feel fresh and just yes love gingham okay <laughs> i have the whole set to that one um let's see body lotions i have two body lotions that i used up the first one is from victoria's secret this is an oldie i have had this in my collection for years um it's called you had me at escape and it says on the back floating driftwood sheer blooms high tides available for weekends so this is kind of like your fresh floral scent um i got tired of this really really quick so i really wanted to just use it up and be done with it but it was a really good scent i just got tired of it and then i used up one of the nivea shade daily moisture lotions this is supposed to be 48 hour um, moisture this is the small one this is the 6.8 fluid ounces i got this at walmart just just to try it out before i went and bought the bigger one now i will be purchasing the bigger one because i did love this lotion this was perfect on those days where i didn't really feel like doing a whole lot of scents so this was perfect for that i really did enjoy this body lotion a lot i have some face products y'all i don't go through skincare quick at all it takes me a while to go through skincare and hair care so i actually have some skincare in here and the first one is this clean and clear um 60 second deep action shower mask you put this on you let it sit on your face while you're in the shower and the steam activates it so this was such a nice refreshing treat to use in the shower i really did enjoy this i picked it up at ross for 3.99 and if i see it again i would definitely repurchase this this was so nice and refreshing on my face and then i have a hyaluronic acid that i picked up from ross a while back too and this is just a serum and it's very hydrating I paid no more than about five or six dollars for this I always pick up stuff like this from Ross or TJ Maxx so yeah I really did like this as well and then I have a small travel size Noxzema face wash really really good just something I kept in my bag I traveled with that 
and then I have one toothpaste this is the Colgate optic white this is my favorite toothpaste it, it gets the job done love this toothpaste it tastes good um, I normally pick these up at Dollar Tree so very very affordable I normally just go ahead and pick me up two or three so um yeah if you're looking for some great toothpaste and you don't want to spend you know four or five dollars go to your local Dollar Tree and get you some good toothpaste and then I have one of the hand creams from Bath and Body Works. This is in Japanese Cherry Blossom. Um, I'm not a big Japanese Cherry Blossom fan, but I had a free gift and I needed a hand cream. So um, I ended up getting this because I guess I was just kind of craving the scent or I wanted to see if I, you know, like the scent. Maybe, you know, you know how you get older, things kind of change now. This is not a scent that I'm going to reach for ever again, but I did enjoy it while I was using it in the hand cream. I kept this in my purse, so I wasn't really using it every day because I don't leave my house every day. So just using it occasionally while I'm out, just a little bit on my hands, it was perfectly fine. So I did enjoy that. And then I have, let's see, let's see. I had two, I actually went through more than two wax melts, but um, here's the first one. This is from Walmart um, by Better Homes and Garden. This is the Summer Strawberry Mimosa Wax Melts. And then this one is from Hobby Lobby, and it is in Clementine and Mango. Both very fruity, kind of citrusy types of scents. This is what I've been reaching for all summer long throughout my house. So I really enjoy both of these. And then last up, we have just a few hair products that I went through. And like I said, y'all, I was shocked that I actually finished up four hair products this month. Okay, so the first one is actually one that I only used on my kids' hair. And that is the Cantu Care for Kids Tear-Free Nourishing Shampoo. This was really, really good on the girl's hair. It got the job done. I have three little girls, so um, this is kind of a small bottle. It's only eight fluid ounces, so I feel like I kind of went through it quick. But um, yeah, really good shampoo, and I would repurchase it. Also, a product that I only used on their hair is the Aussie um, Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner. I use this as a refresher spray slash leave-in conditioner. So, um, if we were getting up in the morning to go somewhere and I just quickly needed to refresh their hair and put it in a ponytail or put it in a bun, um, this is what I would use to do that. Instead of just using plain water, I would use this because it, Aussie products smell amazing. And this, I feel like it did really soften their hair, you know, right before I put whatever gel or whatever in it. So, I really did like this and I would repurchase it. And to go along with that, we all use this in my house. This is the Ozzy Miracle Moist Conditioner. Um, this is really good. I go through conditioner way faster than I do um, shampoo. And I really do like this. I have been using this. Um, uh, I can't talk. I have been using this conditioner for years. And it's always amazing every time I use it. So I would definitely repurchase this. I have, I think, two more in my bathroom right now and then last up i have the molly moisture shea butter combing cream um this is kind of like a leave-in moisturizer and that's what i used it for i didn't use use it on my hair that often maybe like once or twice but this was another product that i used mostly on the girl's hair and it got the job done, but it's not something that I would just run out and just repurchase. I wasn't that impressed. <laughs> um, I Like I said, it got the job done, but it wasn't one of those products that I'm like, okay, I, I'm definitely going to repurchase it because I probably won't. Um, just because I have better moisturizers that work a lot better than this one did. So, that's it on that. That's the... Um, all of the products that I have used up for the month of July. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I do ask that you go ahead and subscribe before you leave, especially if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, y'all be safe out there and be blessed. Bye.